Yeah. Unai Emery, uh, before we talk about whether or not you think this is going to do well or mm-hmm. not, what did you make of the announcement? Were you stunned? Were you surprised? Um, I mean, it, it, it seemed to have come out of nowhere. I'd heard that it was Pochettino was in for the job. They were looking at various other candidates. Mm-hmm. But when his name popped up, to me, it made sense. I think he's a good manager. I think he's... Listen, I'm an Arsenal fan. It didn't end well for him uh, at Arsenal. But I still don't think you can poke holes in his pedigree. I mean, you talk about a guy that's won the Europa League four times. Three times in a row, by the way, at Seville. Uh, Sevilla, sorry. Um, got to the, the Europa League final in his first season at Arsenal. Of course, we got battered by mm-hmm. Chelsea. Mm-hmm. But I think he's a really, really good coach. I mean, the 70 points that he got Obviously, our Arsenal, Arteta's never got 70 points uh, in a full season, and we finished fifth mm-hmm. under him. But he's, um, I think he's a good manager. I think he was almost the butt of all jokes, wasn't he, when it was coming towards the end of Arsenal? I mean, the football that he was playing towards the end of Arsenal wasn't entertaining. He had the whole Urzel situation to deal with as well, which went against him. Um, but I think he's a good coach. I don't, I don't think you win the trophies that he's won. I agree. If you're not a good coach, so you, you could say what you want about him, about his time at Arsenal. It was always going to be hard for any man coming in after Arsene Wenger. The guy was there 20 years plus. We look at Manchester United. David Moyes came in after Fergie was at the club for 20 years. It's not an easy thing. And he's coming into a league now where I believe the Premier League is just getting better and mm-hmm. better. So I think it is the right appointment. If I'm, if I'm an Aston Villa fan, I'd say I'm quite excited by mm-hmm. it. Uh, almost three years since he was sacked at your club. Mm-hmm. Um, in his first season at Arsenal, he went. He had a, a twenty-two game unbeaten streak. Got to the Europa League. Yeah, that, final. that was after we, the first two games. I mean, he got dealt a horrible hand. The first two games of the season was City and Chelsea, I think mm-hmm. they were. And then he went on that unbelievable crazy run. Yeah, and then of course at, at, at the end, I think it was seven matches without a win, yeah. eight points off top four, and they got rid of him. Well, the um, Frankfurt, Villa- the Frankfurt, I can remember it. At, at, the, uh, like this, yeah. Toxic. Mm. Oh, it was horrible. They paid five point two million there or thereabouts to get him out of Villarreal. Um, is that a lot of money? I don't think it's a lot of money. I think a manager um, is, I wouldn't say underrated, but you pay fifty million pound for a, I don't know, a wing back, or you pay hundred mm. million pound for a central midfielder. Mm. Five million pound for a manager. I don't think he's anything. Do you? Not really. Oh, okay. All right. No, I thought not, you were going to change your mind. Well, then. Not really, because when you when you look at. Um, the top coaches in this country, Pep's the Klops of the world. I mean, how much would they really be going for? If someone really wanted them, you'd think in what? 100 million? million? Yeah, I think so. <laughs> Is mad. that nuts? Well, it's not nuts because you think about the brains behind Klopp. No, I totally agree. So I think it's good money for Unai Emery, but... I mean, would you, would you rather have a world-class manager? Yeah. Okay, I'll, I'll ask you this question. You're Arsenal, right? A world-class player or a world-class hold manager? Who, who's the best manager on the planet at the moment? Pep? Yeah, he's up there, isn't Okay, he? would you rather have Pep we say Pep, the Champions League is, is Pep Klopp, one of these guys. Okay, would you rather ha- would you rather pick a manager from the top pot? Yeah, Pep Klopp, etc. Right? Yeah. Or pick or have Karim Benzema, who's just won or Benzema or Mbappe or uh, Haaland. Oh, Haaland would be hard and be a hard one though. But I think who would you who would you rather? Do you know what, I think I'm going Pep. You take the manager, yeah, right? Yeah, I think yeah, he's I the most important piece. He builds. Yeah, one player gets injured. You know, you got problems. Yeah. The manager's so important. I think five minutes. Do you know what? I'm, I'm where he, I'm where he's coming from from Villarreal. Yeah. Obviously, currently sitting seventh in, in La Liga. Haven't been great this season either. So, I, I almost think it's it's not. It's almost like a sideward step. Isn't it? I know Villa are not doing well at the minute, but mm-hmm. if you look at size of the club, Villa are a bigger a bigger club than Villarreal. Even though Villarreal have had success recently in Europe, beating your boys. But thank you. I think for Unai Emery, I think it's an exciting challenge. I can understand. I've played for the football club. I can understand why he'd want to take it on. What? Well, okay. Why has he taken? I don't know if you remember. Round about November time, mm. Newcastle when they sacked Steve Bruce, they went for him. Yeah, and he, and he said the like club. He, was, he said the club has no direction. Yeah, no ambition. Yeah, and now he's taken Aston Villa, which is the better prospect. Oh, it's, Newcastle all so, day, so right, why, as we sit right now. So why Newcastle. do you think he's come to Aston Villa? But maybe, maybe the package they've, they've offered him is, is is been too good to turn down. Maybe I think at the time, maybe you look at New, we look at Newcastle now, of course, yeah. and you go, it's in great health. It's in great health. But that's thanks to Eddie Howe. Exactly. Yeah. He's probably looking at Aston Villa, although their form's not been great, bottom half of the table. He's probably thinking about consistency. But the pieces are in place. You know who the owners are. You will yeah. get a bit of money to spend. The core of the team's there. So he's probably looking at that one, Gan. It is exciting. And I'm telling you, when you first get to Aston Villa, as I did when I signed with Gerard Houllier. When you walk around the the corridors and up in the lounges and the boxes and you walk through the tunnel and the history in that football club, it's unbelievable. The mm. floors in there, the, the the pictures on the wall. Great players that walk through Yeah, that. honestly, it is one of them. And then you walk out onto the pitch and the whole end, it's massive. It takes your breath away a little bit and you're like, whoa, okay. And he's probably got there and thought to himself, wow. But Newcastle's got that. 
Yeah, but at the time, we're, we're looking at Newcastle now. You look at our, Newcastle back then, we didn't know what was going to happen. Mm. Okay. Uh, we'll take calls, of course, we will. 03717 might, Sorry, Newcastle might have gone for a different manager and it might not have gone as That's well right. as Eddie Howe. That's right. It's a good point. Uh, Una Emery will take charge, actually, as Aston Villa boss from the 1st of November, which has raised a few eyebrows following his stint at Arsenal. Stuart Pearce joined the breakfast show this morning. Had his sound who Villa should have appointed as their new manager? I would love to Sean Dyche to, to be given the opportunity. I mean, if you if you offer a direct comparison, at Newcastle, they didn't want Eddie Howe in there. Yep. And Eddie sat fourth in the league at this Great moment point. in time. And, Great point. You know, and sometimes what's right under your nose, <clears throat> you, you can belittle a little bit and think they're not particularly good at their job, but they, mm. I'm telling you, they are. No. Sean Dyche over Unai Emery. No, I mean, I, I looked at him. What Sean Dyche did at Burnley was certainly getting him seventh one year with Ridiculous. a limited bu- Im- impossible. budget. Impossible. Near, near impossible. It was fantastic. But I'm telling you now, if you'd have asked Aston Villa fans who they would have wanted, because, and this is maybe a little bit unfair on Sean Dyche and what he did at Burnley, but you almost feel like if you get Sean Dyche in, you're expecting to be in a relegation battle and he can he can keep you up. Yeah. I don't think Aston Villa fans want that. So, again, it might go against him. You look at the, the two resumes, you've got a guy that's a specialist in keeping teams up or you've got a guy that's won the Europa League four times in a row, got to a Champions League quite deep until Liverpool knocked him out last season. Which would you prefer? But again, people, it's a bit unfair on Unai Emery because people keep looking at their Arsenal situation. Mm. The timing for Unai at the, the time was all wrong. He followed Wenger. Towards the end, the football was a bit boring. He had a lot to deal with. But... He went away, he's rebuilt himself. And if, you, if I was an Aston Villa fan, I'm looking at the two managers, I'm going Unai Emery. Yeah. All, all, Aston all, Villa, all Aston Villa fans be happy with Unai Emery? I mean, obviously you'll get no, one or two. You're going to get one or two that are But like, the majority? Yeah. But honestly... I, look I agree. At, I agree with you. I look at Sean Dyche, and this is no disrespect to him because I think he's a very good manager, but I almost look at him as like a firefighter manager where you kind of, at the minute, you kind of call him in when things are going wrong and you go, right, he can save you. I don't think Aston Villa want that. Mm. Talk Sport Drive with Andy Goldstein. Monday to Friday afternoon from 4 on AM, on DAB, via the Talk Sport app and on your smart speaker. Talk Sport.